Welcome to Mobile Trading Academy. If this is your first time trading on MetaTrader 4, don't worry. I'm going to walk you through placing your first trade in today's video. When you open your MetaTrader 4 app, you see an interface like this. The first column is the currency pairs, which consists of the base currency and the counter currency. The second column is the bid which is the price you can sell one unit of the base currency. And the last column is the ask, which is the price you can buy one unit of the base currency. In other words, one unit of the base currency is equivalent to this value of the counter currency when you sell. And one unit of the base currency is equivalent to this value of the counter currency when you want to buy. So let me use Euro USD for instance. If I want to sell, one euro is worth $1.05255. And one euro can be bought at $1.05270. Then the next question is, how do you measure these changes? It is measured in pips. A pip is a unit of measurement that expresses the change in the value between two currencies. A unit pip is the fourth decimal place. The fifth decimal place is called the pipette. The pipette is one tenth of a pip. For JPY pairs where you have three decimal places, the unit pip is on the second decimal place. Why the third decimal place is the pipette? In Euro USD where you have one point zero five two five five the unit pip is five pips why the pipette is zero point five pips which is five over ten the next thing you're going to do is to know what your spread is your spread is simply the difference between the ask and the bid and the spread is very important because it is the cost of your transaction so you must always ensure that your spreads are not high so in this euro usd the spread is 1.6 finally you need to understand the pip value 0 0.01 contract size is equivalent to $1,000 worth of contract and a pip move is approximately 10 cents 0 0.1 loss size is equivalent to ten thousand dollars worth of contract and a pip move in this contract size is approximately one dollar one standard lot is equivalent to hundred thousand dollars worth of contract and a pip move in this contract size is approximately ten dollars so now that's you've understood how to calculate your PIP and your spread. The next thing you need to do is just to open one of your currency pairs and analyze the chart. To place your trade after analyzing your chart, you click on new order. You can now choose the lot size you want to trade. Our spread is about 1.6. So if I just buy or sell instantly, I'll be seeing about one dollar sixty cents so let's try that you can see exactly i'm having one dollar sixty cents that is the cost of this transaction i just place the trade with without putting my stop loss or take profit so i can choose how much i want to risk and how much i want to make i can choose to modify so if i click on this I can modify other. I don't want to lose more than $20. And I know that for me to lose $20, that this price needs to get to a 1.0503. If the market goes down by 20 pips, then I'll be losing $20. So I don't want to lose more than $20. So if I'm willing to lose $20, then I should be targeting to make $40. So $40 from my entry price is about 
1.05636 so that is I can modify and it's done you can always check your charts to see what is happening you click on here charts here is the trade so if it gets below here you lose out or if it comes up here you gain 40 dollars so you can go and sleep and enjoy yourself the market will automatically close for you either with the profit or with the loss so that is how you can place your first trade i hope this video has helped you thank you for watching and check out my other videos